Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to connect your DS4 controller to your PC via Bluetooth. The first step is here, just visit the website of Input Mapper. Here is their address. And this is the download button, please click here. And move to the download site, click the download button, and you can see the conditions. If it's OK, please check the button, and click download. OK, now let's move to step 2. Install the software, input mapper exe. Input map exe is here. I don't need to run as administrator, it's up to you. So just to finish these installers. Okay. So if you already have DirectX, Xbox, Accessories, Net Framework, don't need to install it. Okay, just to finish all installers. Okay, the next, direct X, next. Uh oh, I don't need to install the Bimba. So, next. I'm selling Microsoft. Okay, it takes a lot of time. Just be patient. Okay, finish. Okay. Another one is here. Okay, Xbox 360 accessories setup. Finish. Now finally you can see the input mapper. Yes, of course I agree. And install it. Yes, I trust it. Install. I think you should donate them because they have a very nice software. Okay, let's go to the final step, pairing DualShock 4 with your PC. Run Input Mapper. Man, you cannot see any controllers here because you haven't finished pairing your DS4 with your PC yet. You should finish pairing and add your wireless device before using Input Mapper. So now it's successfully added. Unfortunately, someone might see this error on your display while you are installing. This error occurs because your DS4 controller power off during the install. So here are some solutions. Connect the DS4 controller to your PC with a USB cable and install Xbox 360 driver somehow. Some how, okay? Or another solution is here. Keep the DS4 controller power on by pushing the PS button till the driver is safely installed. Push, 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 push. Never, never power off, okay? So if you installed successfully, you can use input mapper. You can use your DS4 via Bluetooth. This works perfect. Really, really nice. Now I'm showing my favorite setting. I'm using my left stick as my mouse controller. So 
the sensitivity need to move to 20% and dead zone is around 5%. This is how you can use your left stick or right stick as your mouse controller. This is really nice. And save. So I just named the profile Game Mouse Media. Now I'm not using the mouse controller, I'm using left stick. Uh, very smooth, very easy to use. Now I'm using a touchpad button of DS4 controller. Now I'm gonna show you how it works. Then the property. Yep. Property properties. Uh, uh, e click. There's no lag, no lag. Excellent software. I really love it. Let's enjoy everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.